Hello, good evening, my friends. Uh, well, tomorrow we have like a special day, um, but uh, well, we're going to take advantage of tonight. Vamos a aprovechar este día. 
Because tomorrow we have free day. You already know. Ya saben que mañana tenemos el día de las Mommy's Days, right? So Carito is going to be like having fun. Steffi? Teacher, that was my first question for this night. Yeah, that, that's why I, I am I'm telling you that. So you can have like a better mood. Pueden estar como más de ánimo, solo como que va. Let's take yes. some Como si we need mañana. a break. Yes, we need, we need it. And imagine today is Monday, so it's not so easy. It's not fácil los lunes, ya saben. So uh, tomorrow, I hope you can have fun. You can enjoy it with your family. Espero que lo disfruten mañana con su familia y todo. Okay, so that's nice. You deserve it. Lo, lo merecen, okay? So that's nice. Steffi is mommy. As well, ¿verdad? Steffi también sos mami, ¿verdad? Así que, pues. Sí, teacher. Okay. Pero lástima, no me va a dar regalo todavía. Well, bueno, todavía no. <laughs> bueno. Ay, como anda en moto, es moto mami. <laughs> so, okay, so, uh, well, uh, nice to see you again. Wilfredo, you are 100 percent okay right just us al 100 good evening teacher good evening fine fine yes fine okay that's nice gabriel hello good evening good evening teacher good evening how are you fine fine um fine. no so bad, so bad. okay not so bad okay mm -hmm. but I'm okay <laughs> so carito ya le cambió la cara porque esa, no, mañana tendremos clases so. Hello, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, there are different types of traditions for Mother's Day. Some families go out to have dinner, have lunch, or uh, buy food and eat at home. There are a lot of things, or presents, or regalitos, que, que es lo ideal, right? Yes. So, well, we're going to start... Uh, Talking, talking about your company, vocabulary practice. Así que vamos a hablar acerca de la, de la empresa, a little bit about the enterprise. And so first, here we have this. Different forms to say good luck. Diferentes maneras para decir buena suerte. Good luck. No luck ni look. Luck. Es como una A, you know, luck, luck. This is como similar to this. Luck, love, no es love, it's love, luck, okay? So that's it. And here we have break a leg. That is something like really common, especially for artists, musicians, actresses. Uh, so it, it is really common. Más que todo para los artistas es como bien común decir, rompete una pierna, right? Break a leg before they go to the show, before they go, before the show begins. Then here we have, I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. Then best of luck, best of luck. Fingers, uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed and knock, knock them dead. No came dead. Es como que rompe la con todos los poderes. So that, that's it. Good luck. And obviously you can say good luck. Definitely. Okay. So pick one. Pick one and tell me what is uh, the one that called your attention. Break a leg. Uh, I hope it goes well. Best of luck. Fingers crossed. No came dead. So uh, what about Carito and then Gabriel? Okay, teacher, fingers crossed. Okay, fingers crossed, nice. Uh, Gabriel, then we go with Steffi. Break a leg. Nice. Steffi, Wilfredo. No, can dead. Okay, and then good. Wilfredo, Carlos. Fingers crossed. Ah, fingers crossed, good. Okay, Carlos and Oscar. Break a leg. Okay, break a leg. Oscar and Evelyn. Best of the luck. Okay, best of luck. Okay, Evelyn, pick one. 
Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's nice. That's really good. Okay, now here we go with, I'm going to check the attendance list. Paso la, la lista de asistencia. Tonight we have like few students. Tenemos pocos estudiantes. Maybe, maybe during the class they're going to appear. So, um, before I check the, the, the list, let's do this. Okay. Yesterday, that had a busy day. Vamos a ver el tema de los pasados. Here it's like routines. So um, remember that the verbs are um, in past, simple past, okay? So we're going to start with some of you. What if we start with Carlos? He walked. He walking to the world for about half an hour and hour, hour. Like starting for at 8.45. 45, okay. Okay, that's good. Wilfredo, that got up. That got up. Uh, that got up oops, at a club and had a big breakfast. Breakfast, okay, nice. Uh, here we go with uh, Evelyn. In the evening, in in the evening, they had dinner. My mother cooked dinner. Okay, nice, Carito. Dad went. Dad went to his computer and worked late at night. He slept very late. Very late. Okay, that's nice. Oscar, can you help me? Dad didn't. They did not have, have a lunch. They never feel hungry at lunch time. Okay, he never feel, uh -huh. yes. He never feels hungry at lunch time. Steffi, at five o'clock. Can you help me, please? At five o'clock, he finished work. It was about busy. They saw he felt tired. Tired. Okay, busy, busy. Okay, okay. that's perfect. Now, um, para estudiar lo que es el pasado y darle pues una media repasada, here we have this. El pasado con el ver, déjeme ver, ¿cuál es este? Ah, ok, 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 ok. Let's check this. Siempre vamos a utilizar, we're going to use the list of verbs, eh, la lista de verbos que le di. Especially this one. This one, ok. If you have it in your, in your cell phone or, or in your computer, check it. Revisenla, vamos a utilizar, ok? Um, in this case, remember that we have the past, ok? Entonces tenemos el pasado que para negativas utilizamos el didn't, right? Y para las preguntas utilizamos el did, but for simple affirmative eh, utilizamos ed si es regular o si, si no cambia, pues eh, el verbo si es irregular, ok? So, Aquí se trata de lo siguiente. We are using, estamos utilizando el verbo en pasado. Miren, swam. Aquí lo vamos a poner en presente. Igual, pasado, presente. ¿Cómo? Aquí dice, they swam on Saturday, but they... Um, vamos a ponerle con el didn't, fácil. They didn't swim. On Sunday. Ellos nadaron el sábado, pero ellos no nadaron el domingo. Entonces, eh, a la mayoría um, le vamos a agregar didn't. Entonces es fácil, solo que tenemos que ver los verbos que están en pasado acá. Los mismos verbos, ¿eh? swam, swim, solo que es irregular, ¿verdad? 
En otro caso que tenemos won't, ¿verdad? Entonces lo utilizaríamos en su forma base con el didn't en la mayoría. ¿Ok? Mientras están dando una revisada a estas oraciones, I'm going to check the attendance list. ¿Ok? So you can have like more time for uh, checking the sentences and then you say uh, what sentence do you want to solve or complete. So say hello if you listen to your name. Carlos. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, Pinto. No, we don't have Pinto. Carito. Hello, teacher. Hello. Edwin. Elisa. No. Steffi. Hello. Hello. Evelyn. I'm here, teacher. You are there. Gabriel. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Por ahí vía Durán, que según me comentaba manejando. Ok, Yvette, are you there? Ok, good, thank you. Jack, no, Kenia. Mm, we don't have Kenia tonight. Luis, me parece que también va manejando. Mardo, no. Oscar. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, Nina, we have Nina for here. No. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Good. Claudia. Present teacher. Nice. And Wendy. Oh, no, Wendy. We don't have Wendy. Creo que tuvo una dificultad. Okay. So, um, volunteers for these sentences so we can start completing them. Okay. Do we have some volunteers? Si no, okay, Carito. Pick one. Number two. Okay. No, es la número. It's okay. <laughs> Which one? No, it's okay, teacher. It's okay. No problem. No, it's not okay. <clears throat> Okay, do you need more time? Uh, no, the number three, it's okay. He three. bought a new car. He didn't buy a second hand, second hand car. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Él compró un nuevo carro. Él no compró un carro de segunda mano o usado. Okay, so that's it. It, it, it makes sense, okay? Okay, um, here we have some other. What about if we listen to Carlos and then Oscar? Okay, teacher. Mm. Number nine. Number nine. You say Helen, but you didn't, did not Um, ok, didn't see. Ok, por eso que les he okay. dicho que vean, vean la lista de verbos porque ahí aparecen. Ok, para que no, tenga, no se confundan. Uh -huh. You saw Helen, okay. but you didn't see Celia. Uh -huh. Tú viste a Helen, pero no viste a Celia. Ok, Oscar, are you ready? Then Evelyn. Uh, uh, el número 6. They didn't. They science. did science. Uh -huh. They did science at school, cool. but they science of the at the universe. Didn't do. Thank you. Bien. El pasado de did, perdón, de do es did. Por eso they didn't do. Science at the University. Okay, Evelyn and Gabriel. Number seven. Okay. Uh, he slept well last night, but he didn't sleep. Mm -hmm. Well. Didn't sleep well. The night before. That's it. Eh, no durmió bien anoche, pero él, él, perdón, él durmió bien anoche, pero él no durmió bien la noche anterior. Thank you. 
And here we go with who else? Gabriel and after Gabriel, Wilfredo. Go. Uh, number two. Uh, I'm going to work on Monday, but he didn't go. Who? I didn't go. I didn't go. Sí. Uh -huh, but I didn't go to work on Tuesday. Thank sí. you. Wilfredo, and then we go with um, Yvette. Uh, number 10. Okay. They live in Firefield. They, they didn't, didn't mm -hmm. uh, live in, in Cabramata. Cabramata. It's, it's really strange. Thank you. Okay, Yvette, uh, can you? I don't know if you have problems, okay? Puedes? No, no, no problem. Te voy a dar tiempo, okay? So let's move now. Okay, perfect. Carlos, uh -huh. and we go then with Claudia. Okay, Carlos? Five, teacher. Okay, five. We want to have early eight morning we didn't didn't get early yesterday get mm -hmm. up early yesterday thank you excellent good okay carito some other yes teacher um do, 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 do. number eight okay I ate spaghetti for dinner, but I did, didn't eat anything for lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't eat. Thank you. Very nice. Perfect. Okay, and the last one. What if we have Evelyn? Can you help me with number four? She learned. Hi. She she learned she learned French in high school. She she didn't learn learn French in primary in primary school. Thank you. Very nice, Evelyn. Yes. Can you see? Easy peasy. Está fácil el negativo, verdad? No no está tan complicado realmente. Okay. Right, lástima que no está Kenia. Kenia también quería ver el tema, but and here we have this. Tell something you will never do again. Digan algo que no harían, no harían nuevamente o de nuevo. Y pueden comenzar. I will never. Yo nunca. ¿Qué? Compraría boleto de lotería o viajar a algún lugar, lugar um, prestar, <laughs> or no, whatever. Or I will never. La diferencia, I will never, es que yo no haría esto y I will never, es yo no haré esto. Es como un poquito más determinante, right? It's kind of, it makes like uh, emphasis. So in this case, maybe we can start with Gabriel. Are you ready, Gabriel? Okay. Uh, I will never get on a me on a mechanical wheel uh, affair again. I'm sorry, but my life is not worth two dollars. Okay. Nunca. Una rueda mecánica. Mm -mm. Nunca te. Ah, yo, yo no me, no me volvería okay. a subir. I will uh, never ride. Sí, uh, I will never get ride. on a mechanical a mecha wheel. A mechanical wheel. Mm -hmm. Or a mechanic wheel. wheel. Como la Chicago que le sí. dicen y todas all those things. Or play landmark. No. There are a lot of machines. So never. Never, never. Mm -hmm. Never know. Okay, no lo inviten. Don't invite him. <laughs> no lo inviten, okay? So that is, yes. And even there are people that they react differently. Some people vomit. Some other have headache. Some other cry or shout. Or even, 
I don't know, a lot of things como quedan en shock. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, uh, Gabriel. Interesting. Okay, what if we listen now to Carito? Uh -huh. Creo que estás hablando con tu conciencia, Carito, because we can't hear. Yes, I'm sorry. Siempre me pasa lo mismo. No, está no. troleando, Carito, ya ve. <laughs> First, I will never mess with the boyfriend or husband of my sister. Second, I will never eat cockroaches. Cockroaches. I'd rate the starved. And third, I will never go on a roller coaster and other rides again. Ah, una coaster, la tercera. The third is coaster like speeding up with another. Como yes. cuando, cuando van peleando vía. Ok, that's number three. Number two no. is... No, la montaña rusa y el, esos cosas que... Tagadá, ¿verdad? Son uh, no, está, nunca me subió. ¿Ese que da vueltas y te eleva o esos que te sueltan? Ah, ok. Never, okay. never, never, never. Similar to Gabriel. So don't invite Carita to those things. No. Pero ya te has subido. Have you ever tried? Por desgracia... Sí. And, and what happened? You shout, gritaste, lloraste. The problem is that I can scream. I make like... Ah, you feel like... No puedo gritar, no puedo llorar, no puedo hacer nada. Nada. Como, que si, fuese, como que si fuese mudita. Que no yeah. puedes pronunciar me nada. Me agarro me... tanto de lo que encuentro que me... Aruñas. Sí, I hate it. I hate it. Ok, peligro, I hate, vas, I hate. vas. Si te subes, no me voy a, no me voy a estar a la parte de eso. No todo aruñado, vamos a terminar. Ok. Number yes. two, no cucarachas. No comeré cucarachas, aunque es para Prefiero lo morir de hambre antes que tener que comer cucarachas. But cucarachas with chocolate. Con chocolate. Pues, así, no. Crujiente, no. crunchy. Puedo comer lombrices, puedo comer. Sapo. Sanos podría, culebras. Pero cucarachas prefiero morir de hambre. Ok. En un, en un escenario posapocalíptico, pos radiación nuclear, solo habrá cucarachas para comer, entonces yo moriré. Ok. En number one, no meterte, digamos, no en problemas con, el, con tu cuñado. No involucrarse. Es que en Colombia se ven mucho. Bueno, no, aquí también había ciertos paicos por ahí que... Paicos. Eh, no, Paicos es cierto, es Paicos es cierto personaje que está de novio con uno, pero se echa la, o sea, está de novio se con echa, una que... y se echa la muela a la hermana. Ah, ajá, ok. Ya, ya. Aprovecha. A, colombiano. Aprovecha para, para hacer otro recorrido, a eso te refieres, ok. Mm, yes, eso that's... acaba, arrasa con toda la familia. Yes, definitely, definitely. And is, is it common in Colombia? <clears throat> pues más que aquí, creería que sí. Ok. Well, interesting. Interesting. Lo sabremos más adelante. Ok, Carito, thank you. Well, three You're things we will never or will never do again. Ok, what if we listen now to Evelyn and then we go with Steffi. Hi, Evelyn, are you ready? Teacher, how do you say conchas in English? Shells. Shells. Ok, I will never eat shells. Shells, no shells. No. In you. a cocktail, no. Cocktail, eh, no. no. But you like shrimp. Camarón, shrimp, yes. Yes, yes. No problem. I like. You like, no, no yeah, shrimp is delicious. But shells with lemon, yes. chili. No. Pepper. No, no. No, no. no okay. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of people who don't like shells. No le gusta para nada. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't listen what is shells. Conchas. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, imagine. Well, no shells. No le invitan a cocktail. Okay. No problem. And even, it is not that healthy. No es que sea saludable. 
shells, realmente. Right, but it is like an exotic, exotic dish, como un platillo un poco exótico. That's it. Well, well yeah. No shells forever. Okay, nice. Uh, let's listen to Steffi. Okay, I would never fall in love again. Come on, Steffi. <laughs> Me rompieron el corazón, así que jamás, nunca. Ay, Are you sweetie. Sure? Segura, segurísima. Te hacen falta tantas. Segurísima. Ok. Um, you fell in love 100%. Te enamoraste al 100. Al 100. Sí. Ok. So. Something that maybe after after experience that the body experimentar eso the confidence la confiar en al, en alguien is like really difficult, right? That, I guess that's your point, Steffi. Maybe you can fall in love, but not as the same as in the past. Okay, so like different form. Puedes enamorarte, pero de una manera diferente. But not with the same, uh, the same intensity. Con la misma intensidad. I guess it is really, really difficult, right? Because it's the past. Eras otra, Steffi. You were another, Steffi. Now you are other, right? So that's yeah. it. But don't give up. No, hombre, no te des por vencida, ¿verdad? Don't. Okay. Imagínate, te encontré un sugar. Perfect. Ah, no, right. pues sí, y allí estamos hablando de otra cosa. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, but well, fall in love, it's an option. But, uh, well, Carito, suggestion, sugerencia de la experiencia. Yeah. En general, en general. <laughs> no solo eso, la experiencia en general. Okay, you are very young. They are going to. You are going to meet new people. New people. All the men are the same. I'm sorry. Okay, oh, vamos a silenciar oh, aquí. Yeah. Okay, ahorita vamos. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah. All the men are liars. Lions. But in, ah, ah, <laughs> liar. in one point of your life, in the future, you are going to find some people that is going to be el menos peor, and you're getting in love again. Okay. So, yeah, she can. Uh, Steffi, how old are you? You are 24, right? Or 23? Creo que está bailando en la disco de Steffi. Okay. How old are you? Well, I guess Steffi is like walking, well, but I remember that she, she said like 24. Yeah, she's very young. I guess, I guess. Well, she's very young. So yes, it is like in a different uh, form to, 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 to be involved in, a, in another relationship, right? It is not going to be the same. Ninguna de las relaciones emocionales son iguales. They have their own characteristics. And it depends on the maturity, depending on the madurez of the other person and your own, of course. Tu propia madurez también. Well, a lot of aspects, okay? Ya vamos a abrir espacio para las, ¿cómo es? Las sesiones, ¿verdad, Carito? Okay, de catarsis. Uh, couple therapy. <laughs> yes, personalized. Okay. Couple therapy. Therapy, yes. Bueno, Steffi, ya le vamos a dar un par de tips, Steffi. Well, um, uh, después de hablar, after talking about love, now we go with Carlos and then Yvette. Thank you, sir. I would never smoke in a guy. Oh, okay, good. In the past, you used to smoke in the past. In the past, yes. Okay. Yes. yes. But it is so nice. Smoking is one of the worst habits. One of the peor habits que pueden haber, right? It, it is one of the worst. So it is good for you if you you say no, no, never. Okay. 
Perfect. Good for you. Okay, Yvette, what about you? Are you ready? Oh, hello, teacher. Hello. Um, I will never leave one of my children again for any reason. And if I was given a choice that I could change, I will change that stage of my life. Okay. So you say that you will never leave your kids. Nunca abandonarías a tus hijos. ¿A eso te refieres? No. Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, Yvette, how many kids do you have? Two, three? One? Um, or no? Two, two. Ah, you have two kids. Okay. Yo tengo dos, pero, pero lo que jamás volvería a hacer es dejar a uno de ellos. Okay, I understand. Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay. It is, uh, well, decisions are difficult and we based our decisions on different situations, aspects, and a lot of things. Well, well, thank you for sharing. Gracias okay. por compartir. Perfect. Give it nice. Okay. Okay, we continue now with just uh, good topics for a small talk. Digamos, Temas para charlas cortas. You consider inappropriate um, discuss your choices with a partner, ¿ok? Eh, vamos a elegir tres buenos temas para una charla corta y tres que tú consideras inappropriate, inapropiados, inappropriate, like disgusting, like uncomfortable, que son incómodos, ¿ok? Discuss your choices with a partner. Uh, you are going to work in, in, in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Y ustedes me dicen, ¿ok? Uh, location, company, politics, common, travel, money, bosses, likes, ¿ok? There are different, estos son los temas. And here we have some questions. Questions that help us to, to identify the specific, the topic in specific, ¿ok? Así que me eligen tres temas. Good ones and uh, like bad ones, como tres temas buenos y tres temas malos, okay? So can you have a, like a screenshot, please? Carito, carito. Of course, teacher, give me okay. one minute. No problem. The number one says, location. Is your company near the trade center? Next, company. Job. What are some of your responsibilities at Rex Inc.? Es como que te le pregunten cuáles son algunas de tus responsabilidades en la compañía. Aquí dice Rex, porque de eso se, está, se hablaba de la conversación anterior. Luego, politics. These politicians are the disaster. What do you think? Estos políticos son un desastre. ¿Qué piensas? Common event. Are you enjoying the seminar? ¿Estás disfrutando el seminario o alguna capacitación? Travel. Does your job require a lot of travel? Money. Are you making good money in your job? Bosses, I work for a try-in. What about you? Likes, do you enjoy outdoor activities? Entonces, esos temas son como que ustedes están, se encuentran a compañeros de trabajo. ¿Y cuáles de esos temas podrían ser interesantes para hablar? ¿Y cuáles serían incómodos? Okay, bad topics, okay. So, uh, thanks, Carito. Okay, so please, I need you to select. Solo lo voy a ubicar. Give me a second. Let me see. Okay, see you in a moment.
Ok, Claudia, necesito que, que um, aceptes la solicitud. Please. Ok, I'm going to send it to the envío de nuevo. Mardo, eh, necesito que aceptes la solicitud nuevamente. Mardo, please. Sí, teacher, estoy esperando ahí que me, que me mande ahí la, la invitación. No me, no me he invitado okay. todavía. Ahora, te la envío de nuevo. Sí. Ahorita sí. Ok, go. Claudia, hello. Wow. Well. Let me see. Claudia, aceptaste la invitación, ¿verdad? Hello, Luis. 